Rhea Snaketail is dead. Although the circumstances surrounding her death are still something of a mystery, no one can deny the fact that her life has ended, least of all Rhea herself. Some might think this means Rhea is now at peace, but she has actually been particularly busy since her pulse stopped. Immediately after her passing, Rhea was given judgment by Death himself, finding that her soul was not virtuous enough for heaven, yet not sinister enough for hell. Death sent our heroine to the Ring of the Slightly Damned, a stretch of land on the outskirts of hell reserved for souls like Rhea's. When she entered the ring, Rhea was introduced to a wide variety of interesting characters. Buaro, the fire demon with the brain of a thumbtack, who was assigned to keep an eye on her. Sakido, Buaro's black-winged wind demon sister. Eratu, Buaro's giant, drunken earth demon brother. And Seymour Sinclair, another slightly damned soul who was trying to swim his way across the river Styx. At the end of our last adventure, Death had arrived with a letter to be delivered to Sakido. Since the Wind Demon lived really far away, at the Pinnacles, Rhea and Buaro decided to wait until the next morning to deliver it to him. So until the new day comes, why don't we take a quick look into our companion's dreams? That night, this is what Rhea dreamt. Oh, crap. Not this all over again. I recognize this. A dream? A nightmare, I guess. This place, I hate it. Why? In a matter of moments, I die with a knife in my heart. This is my death. I remember the weapon, but not its master. They cannot be seen. The dagger is stuck. It doesn't hurt. I've been dreaming about how I died for a while now. It feels like I should be scared, but I'm not. In fact, I would call it boring. And they all end the same strange way. Off in the distance, someone looks at me and says, Rin. And this is what Buaro dreamt. I have party. I have come to your party. Yay, Sakido! Gar, Buaro is cool. Can't reach booze. Arms too small. Thaddeus is here too. Oh no, look, it's Roxella. Super Buaro to the rescue! Yay! Buaro, I can't believe you stupid party. Why it's dumb, but you are still cool, so okay. I'm Glee. Everybody, Everybody party! party. I have the bestest family ever! With that, the morning comes and they both awaken. And so it begins their new adventure. Good morning, Rhea. Let's go visit Sakido now. I'm also bringing that is. <sighs> Unfortunately, Sakido lived far from Rhea and Noir. La 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 la, we're doing something important. La la la, doo dee doo. Plus, the pinnacles were part of a small mountain range. Uh, Hurry up, Rhea. Did I ever mention I hate climbing? Because I really do. Ah, here we are, the Pinnacles. But I don't really remember where my sister lives. But maybe we can try and figure it out. Come on. Much, much later. Finally. Uh, Sakido just had to live on the tallest one, didn't she? Yep. Hey, Buaro, you're a really good climber. I suck at it. Which is pretty weird, considering I'm a Jakai born and raised in a forest. Thanks. I'm used to it. But, uh, what's a forest? Hmm. Well, I guess it's just a place with a bunch of trees. But I guess you don't know what a tree is. It's, uh, a big, tall thing with green things on top called leaves. <laughs> I just thought, it looks like broccoli. You can eat broccoli. Hmm. I think Sakido has one of those broccoli things. Ah, don't let go! I hate you. After several more attempts, the pair finally find Sakido's home. Though this home was not much more than a flat mountain peak, with a few carefully tended bonsai bushes scattered here and there. Hi, Sakido! 
We're here to visit you! Ugh. Finally. Hmm. I thought I heard screams. Yeah. Your beloved brother here let go while climbing. TWICE! Anyway, here. We came to visit just to deliver this letter. Ugh. I'd complain that you live too far away. But if I were you, I'd live far from Buaro too. That idiot. Oh! Buaro! Why the hell are you eating my bonsai? Huh? You're not a broccoli. Well, well hey! Oh. Put me down! Ah! Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs>